Greetings from 2AJ TV to all our viewers. My name is Barryman Idiyanede, or Sabariman on Apple. And I'm right here with my able and then colleague presenter, the village journalist, Okrofi PSA. Right, um, today marks the second day that I'm here to give you the updates on the uh, pandemic coronavirus or COVID-19. And this disease seems to be... Um, something that is really a plague to the entire world and the world is still suffering out of it and it seems the cases are still rising in fact the cases are not going down at all and from my uh, investigation it is only the chinese where this sickness um, der was derived from these are the only people that are doing well in the fight of it and um, the breaking news is that Ghana, our uh, cases has risen from twenty uh, from nineteen to twenty four now, and this is a plague. In fact, Ghana, we must pack up, and um, it is very pathetic that we have not experienced any recovery so far in Ghana, uh, but we have experienced one death out of it. This means that Ghana, we need to back up. Well, let me zoom into the global um, cases. Okay, in a global, we have, we have 294,110 confirmed cases, and um, out of it, we have um, experienced 12,944 deaths, and then we have um, um, 187 countries being infected. Um, there were some countries that were not part in the previous, for instance, Chad, a country like Chad, but they have recorded their first cases from the um, corona virus and it is very pathetic now that it is getting out of hands now now it is 187 countries these are the countries that we have let me zoom into the first um, okay let me see about 10 top countries leading the corona virus now we have china china has recorded 81,435 cases and italy has recorded um, 59,000 138 cases out of it they have experienced 5476 deaths and then us of a has experienced 33141 cases and 414 deaths and then spain the spanish have also experienced 28768 cases and they have experienced um, a death rate of 1000 772 germany has also experienced um 24,873 and 94 cases of death and then um iran has also experienced 21,634 cases and then the death rate is 1,685 death cases and then france has also experienced 16,018 and then the death rate is 774 death cases and then South Korea has also experienced 8,961 and then um, death cases is 111 death cases and then UK has experienced 5,715 cases and then the death cases um, 281 and then Netherlands has also experienced 7,245 cases and the 98 death. In fact, it is really rising. But one thing that I don't understand is about the Italians. In fact, the Italians, their death rate is rising. And I don't know why uh, they should pack up. In fact, they should try and then do more because their death cases are even rising than even the Chinese, as I said it um, earlier on. on. Um, yesterday now their death um, cases is um, 5476 meaning it has risen um, it has really risen and then they are currently infected persons in fact that one has risen a lot 46,638 and uh, when you go <clears throat> to China where this sickness is coming from in fact China when you go there, they are currently infected patients are 5,120, 5,120. And then their death cases is just 3,200.
170. This means that China is really doing well in the fight. They are really doing well. And then we are still praying that God gives the Chinese grace to fight it. And then those countries that are so um, struggling with the fight of the coronavirus or the COVID-19, God should give them with the grace to also fight it because this thing has become really a plague to the entire nation and then ghana i don't know what our people are doing in fact the government of ghana need to rise up because it seems our um, cases are really rising now it has risen from 19 cases to 24 cases now and then we have experienced one death but no recovery what are we doing ghana in fact we need to back up and um i have the village journalist here and we are going to talk about it what ghana is doing and then what the americans are also doing because the americans too their cases are really rising the whole world the entire world we're expecting um, the american the united states of america to do more to do much better than all the other countries but it's rather the reverse they are really doing worse in the fight of the coronavirus and then the egyptians we don't know what is going on in Egypt and the countries that has not been infected yet yet but now um, they have recorded their cases now okay the village journalist you are welcome I'm um, thank you sir very much how are you doing I'm doing good um, I'm very sad today because the cases are really rising are you sure that Ghana and then the entire world we are going to make it Okay, let me use this opportunity to greet our viewers watching us, our followers who always um, follow us, um, whichever place we go. God richly bless them for um, spending time and all to support us. Mm. And back to your question. What I would say is the infected people rising up in Ghana here is out of ignorance. Okay. Why am I saying this? We have been in cars, been in an interview sections with some people. In any way, how they will respond to you as mm. For this, I can stand on it to say that out of ignorance, the thing is moving higher. Mm. And others has also used this means to just make money okay as blacks when you go to the countries you were mentioning they are doing well finding things in a right way to just help each other mm. that is if someone don't have any education about how to prevent him or herself from getting this virus the other will help to just educate the person on it mm. coming to africa Ghana to be precise. When you go to town, those who were selling sanitizers way back mm. are now making much money. Yeah. Those who were not even into this sanitizing business has started now doing it mm. because of money. Mm. The sanitizer which were bought um, way back for just two Ghana cities is now 10 cities. Ten cities yeah. In this, I can tell you, Ghanaians are just happy about what is going on. Mm. Let me um, um, honor this man. His Excellency, Nana Dudankwe Kufuado, has been doing good in this section. Okay. Why? He has put in terms together knowing that not only um, um, doctors and medicine will help cure this mm -hmm. but rather prayers can also help because we don't know the origin of this um, virus yeah so what i will tell Ghanaians is we need to stand for each other mm. stop being ignorant and let's all fight this thing together mm. how can we sit and form a team of just claiming money for ourselves whilst others are dying mm. We need to stand, listen to advisors, go by the ways of just protecting ourselves and all that. Mm. Someone will tell you there is nothing like that in the world. They are just faking what they are saying, mm. which is very wrong. Mm. We need to go by the doctors 
uh, um, education on all this, how to pr prevent ourselves. Okay, we will come there, but um, since you mentioned the president's name, let me come to the president. Um, is the pre uh, what the president is doing, is it enough to fight the coronavirus in Ghana here? What I would say is, um, it's not enough, as you are saying, mm -hmm. but at least he is doing something. Okay. But um, what do you think is left for the president to do? What I think is left is much re-educating um, um, the public about the disease. When you know something about the disease, you will try your best to stay away from it. Mm. You understand? Yeah. People don't know the virus we are talking about. Mm. People really don't understand what we are talking about okay. it is really a deadly disease which i think doctors all over the world have sat down in a way to bring up something to cure but they are not getting mm. they have sat down made a research and the research they come up with is your immune system itself can fight the disease yeah if only you are boosted up Okay. You understand? So what I'm saying is the government should um, let people, educate people to go out there and give education on all this. Mm. That is also providing free um, um, gloves, masks, sanitizers and all that. Mm. Let me take you back to where I come from. That is the village. Okay. How many villages? have the money to go and buy 150 sanitizer to use. Mm. Not to talk of the gloves, the masks and all that. Okay. So this is where the government has to stand in, give it out for free for them to also use. Mm. And I think it will really help. I think it will really help. Now, I will come to you again, the village journalist. But as, as you're watching, you can also bring up bring out your comments in the comment section um we have most people that can fall at risk of the coronavirus um this is um the age um the age range um that can fall at risk um, for the coronavirus we have um zero to nine um they said zero to nine um zero percent okay yes and then we have the ten to 19 years, it is um, 0.2 percent. And we have um, 20 um, to 29 people, it's um, 0.2 percent. And we have 30 to 39, it's um, 0.2 percent as well. And then 40 to 49 is 0.4 percent. And then 50 to 59 is 1.3 percent. And then 60 to 69 is 3.6 percent. And then um, the 70 to 79 people um, is 8%. Um, and then the 80 plus, in fact, um, DS is 14.8%. Okay. I don't know how true that is, but that is what I have gotten. And um, if you have anything concerning it, you can also um, bring it out at the comment section. Um, the village journalist. So how are we going to protect these people? Um, that is um, the... Um, 80 plus and then 70 plus and stuff, especially the 80 plus people. As I was saying, I was saying something of um, doctors coming up saying that your immune system will fight this um, disease itself. Mm. And talking of this age, you can verify that the immune at that age is not all that strong. Okay. Due to this, the disease can kill them easily. The only way we can fight for these people is boosting their immune, giving them the right precautions and all that mm. to just let them stay away from things that they will do to contract the disease. Mm. That is what I can say. Okay, so far from what you've seen, yeah. um, are we really using the $100 million to fight it? That is what I'm saying, mm. that no one should sit on the money. Okay. Me per se, I would say I have not seen any um, improvement on using the money. Mm. Though they are spraying Accra, some part of Accra, not the whole of Accra, mm. they are taking it in sequential form, mm. moving from this place to the other. Mm. But we can 
organize some people as we are talking now Accra is going on we can do it in Kumasi at the same period okay because after spring Accra someone from Kumasi will go to Accra okay and if this person I'm talking about is affected what will happen mm. you understand so things has to be done quickly mm. for us to be free and safe. Right. Um, the village journalist, um, let me read the Italy, uh, <laughs> this thing to you. The Italy, the Italians have, the Italians have um, 59,188 cases and out of it, they have experienced 5,476 deaths mm. out of the coronavirus and um, they have had um, 7,000 24 recovered okay um, so far their death cases are rising yeah as compared to the chinese um the chinese have had um okay. and then their death cases is three thousand two hundred and seventy and they have had um, seventy two thousand seven hundred and three recovered okay. this means that they are doing well in the fight of the coronavirus yeah. why do you think um, is the, has, yes. Has what, what is the issue? I'm um, talking of this issue. I would say, um, according to my research, what I've done about this issue is comparing a Chinese man to an Italian. What I, and according to my research, says is I have already made an emphasis on how to fight it. We don't have any drug, but rather your, your immune system itself will, some, in a way, will fight it. Mm. Comparing these two people, a Chinese man and an Italian, the immune system of a Chinese man is much stronger than an Italian. Why do you think so? According to the research I've made. Okay. Yeah. It tells me that. That is why the death case of Italy is moving higher and higher and higher. Could it be that is the reason why uh, none of the Africans has died out of the coronavirus? Yes, because Africans, our immune system is really good. Okay. Yeah. Our color and also our weather, the weather and our, let me say our climate and all that helps us a lot. Mm. But comparing the Chinese and the um, Italians, I think this is what I have to say. Okay. Their immune systems are not equal. Mm. For this, the Italians are dying and they need to stand, mm. do something, and other countries need to also help them because they are really going. Mm. Okay, not so long ago, um, let me come back to Ghana. Yeah. Not long ago, the president um, closed all borders. Yeah. Yes, um, the president said, whoever comes, outside Ghana or outside the country, mm. um, that person should be quarantined yeah. for some time, for about two weeks. And then after the, declar after the declaration, yeah. um, we have had another five cases. <laughs> <laughs> this is really um, ridiculous. Um, if we had done this early, mm. I'm not sure Ghana would have even recorded even one case. Okay. Things, that, that is why I'm saying things were done in a way we ignored that, oh, for Ghana, with God, as if Jesus Christ even comes from Ghana. Mm. That is what we think. Mm. You understand? Yeah. This is a disease everyone is running from. Mm. And Ghanaians are there just, we know God is there. The, the, um, His Excellency Nanado even invited uh, men of God to, to just intervene, pray for us and all that. Mm. We do concord that. Mm. But the, the reason is, we need to fight physically and spiritually, we will also go there. Okay. But it seems Ghanaians, much based on spiritual, let's pray, let's pray, without going in a way of preventing ourselves. Mm. You will meet a man and the man will tell you, I'm not on gloves, Max, no sanitizer. Why? Because I believe in God. Mm. Things shouldn't be done this way. Right. Um, let's end the conversation here, but um, your final advice to our viewers. 
Final advice from your village journalist is um, what I will tell you is prevent yourself. Go by what doctors has given to us. Use your sanitizers. Wash your hands with running water. Do well to stay away from affected people. Mm. Also, sleep well, drink more water. Just go by the rule and you will be safe. Right. Yeah, you will be safe. Thank you a lot, the village journalist. Um, that was the village journalist. And um, I want us to end the whole show here. But before then, let me relay this advice to our cherished viewers. You know, we need you alive on 2AJ TV so that you can keep on watching 2AJ TV. That is why we keep on giving you the update so that you will know what is going on. And you will be careful in whatever things that you are doing. Like the government said, the government said we should uh, make sure that we put in place all the preventive measures so yeah. that we can stay alive that is what you should be doing the government said we should um, keep on washing our hands in fact do not wait to eat before you wash your hands always but rather if i were you i would wash my hands in every two hours it's not just washing your hands with um any other water or let me say um from a water in a bowl but you should wash your hands from a flowing water or a running water that is what you should be washing your hands with and do not forget to sanitize and do not forget to pray as well because prayer is always the key like the village journalist said right i will end everything here but i want you to stay tuned with us as we keep on giving you the update i'm praying that tomorrow we will come and then we will give you a lesser figure not a higher figure thanks for watching